Welcome to the April edition of Counselor's Corner. I am Jill English, counselor at Dow High School, and this is Craig Hawkins, counselor at Midland High School, and we're here to just provide you with some information happening in the month of April. So just want to remind you that the end of the marking period is coming up on April 11th, and remember that this will be halfway through the second semester, so this will be a good indication of how your student is currently doing, and if you have questions or concerns about their progress, certainly contact the Counseling Center or contact your child's teacher so that we can make sure that they finish out the year on a strong note. Um, in April sometime uh, at both high schools, we will be meeting with the 10th graders to give back the plan test that they took in March. And remember that the plan test was made up of two parts. It was a practice ACT as well as a career interest inventory that they took. So when we give them the results, we will be going over the ACT part of it, the practice ACT part of it, to give them an idea of how they might score when they actually take the ACT test during their junior year. But then we will also be tying in their career results with a program that we use called Michigan CAP. So all students have an account at Michigan CAP. We will be having them log in, some of them may be doing a career interest inventory on Michigan CAP, or they may be doing more of a career search to get more details on a career that they think they're interested in. So we will tie together their results from the plan test, as well as the searches that they're doing online to help them get some more information to help them plan for their future. Another important program that we'll do deals with the 11th graders, where we will pull them into the computer lab and we'll explain to them uh, how to submit college applications. Also, we'll take them through a program called Parchment, which is how students will request to have their transcripts sent to the individual colleges that they want to apply to. So we ask students to apply to the colleges first, then send their transcripts through Parchment, and that's all done electronically. We also do a college search with the students in 11th grade to help them identify colleges that they may have an interest in, talk about the different characteristics of colleges that they need to look for, uh, talk about the majors that colleges offer, the atmosphere, the environment, uh, cost. We try to cover as many of those components as we can so that they make a good informed decision of what is the best college for them to apply to and then how do they go about doing that whole process. So that's something that we want every 11th grader to have in their pocket when they're going out there and looking to see what am I going to do when I get out of high school? Am I going to go to a community college, a four-year college? Am I going to go into a training program? What am I going to really do when I get out of high school? So that's what we'll go over with each one of those junior students. Another thing is it's important to know that, that AP Advanced Placement and International Baccalaureate courses and tests will be given in the month of May. So in April, it's good to have an idea that your student will be doing those tests if they signed up for them and if they choose to take those Advanced Placement and International Baccalaureate tests. That's it for the month of April. Please join us again when we cover more important topics for the month of May.